Hello everyone and welcome back to the workshop. I think the best upgrade anyone can do to a lathe is to fit a quick change tool post. Most lathes will generally come with a four way tool post and these can be really good and rigid. In fact, the lathe that I was taught to turn on had one of these, but they do have their limitations. If the tool doesn't line up with the center of the workpiece, you're going to need to use shims to add height to the tool, and if the tool is too tall, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Another design that came with my Sherline is this rocker style tool post with a piece of aluminium that can tilt to allow better alignment with the workpiece. These can be really good, but if you tilt the cutter too much, it can mess with the cutting geometry of the tool, and they are also limited to holding one tool at a time. At the end of the day, a quick change tool post is king. Not only are they easy to change the height of the cutting tool, the tools can also be easily changed out, which is really useful if you use multiple tools for different cuts. For some time now, I've used this aluminium tool post and I think they are very adequate for mini lathe use. Now having two lathes and only one quick change tool post, the thing I need to do now is to make up another tool post that fits the tool holders that I have. As many quick change tool posts are different sizes, when you invest in buying a lot of holders you're going to need to stick to the same size tool holder and a tool post that fits them. For this build, I'm going to be sticking to using the lathe only, and whilst I will be taking advantage of the quick change tool post, this can easily be made using the stock four way tool post. So the first thing we need to do is cut out a piece of aluminium and face it on the lathe. A hole is drilled through the aluminium to allow a bolt to hold it to the top slide. A boring bar is then used to widen the hole to 25mm wide to a depth of 30mm. Next we need to work on the dovetails. If you have a rigid mill setup, a dovetail cutter is the way to do this. But if you're really careful with a file, you can actually produce some really great dovetails by hand.
With the base of the tool post made, the next part we need to make is the eccentric cam. This will push pins into the holders to keep them in place. Now normally the way to make an eccentric turn would be to use an independent four-jawed shark, but a 1mm shim placed in one of the jaws allows us to achieve the same result.
Finally, we need the tube that will slide into the cam to keep it centered. Off camera I turned these brass pins with an o-ring. These will push into the tool holders to keep them locked in place and the o-rings are there to stop them from easily falling out. Now if I have to be honest, I think this actually feels much more rigid than the Chinese import tool holder and the metal dovetails should be much more wear resistant than the aluminium ones. I'm really happy with how this turned out and you should look forward to seeing this in more builds. And with that, thank you very much for watching.